Today I'm going to take a Lufthansa business class flight from Montreal to Munich on flight number LH-475. On this trip, I was happy to be traveling with my good friend and cameraman, Alex. We started this flight with a nice glass of champagne. My final destination will be Ibiza, Spain. But in this video, we'll be focusing solely on my flight from Montreal, Canada to Munich, Germany. This was probably the only flight in my life where I basically experienced no turbulence. Prior to my flight, I had to wait about 15 minutes before I could enter the Air Canada lounge. One of the Air Canada agents told us that we were not allowed to film inside of the lounge with a professional camera. So we just ended up filming with our iPhones. Let's head to the lounge, the lounge, let's go to the lounge. The guy in the front reception said I have to ask permission from Air Canada. So as soon as I get back, I'm going to send an email and I want to see where it says you're not allowed recording in a lounge. I mean, like, if they say you can't record people's faces, I get it. But uh, this is public space. Whoever heard you can't record. Totally weird. For me, if you, if you don't want to record or if you don't allow people to record, you must be embarrassed about something. Here you go, buddy. Mm -hmm. Is that some good service or what? <laughs> Once we left the Air Canada Lounge and arrived to our departure gate, we boarded fairly quickly. I'm happy to say that the flight left on time. This was the first time I ever took a flight where I had a seat belt that came across my body. I'm used to taking flights where the seat belt goes across my waistline. The Wi-Fi on the airplane was decent enough to send iMessages and other forms of DMs, but unfortunately the Wi-Fi did not work for the entire flight and the browsing speed wasn't that great. I paid 29 euros for the entire flight, but it's a shame it did not work for the entire time. I must say the entertainment system on the airplane was great. They had plenty of movies and TV shows to choose from. The screen was a nice size and the quality of the video on the screen was great. I tried to connect my phone to the on-flight entertainment system, but I was not able to get it to work. Before receiving my dinner, I had some whiskey, nuts, and obviously some champagne. Cheers. Cheers. The menu had a nice assortment of alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages. They provided some delicious chocolates to eat. I had some chocolate. Let me start with the dark one. Very nice. There are allergy-free meals available. If you're celiac, for example, please make sure you select one when you book your flight. Here we go. Olives. Decent. Cheese with pesto sauce. Pretty good. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are good. Carrots. Now, the steak, I cut the steak right down the middle. Well done. I know they're doing it for safety reasons. I don't like my steaks well done. Then in the bathroom, they had plenty of mouthwash, shaving razors, earplugs, sleep mask, refreshing towels, and L'Occitane hand lotion. Time to get some sleep. Meal porridge. I don't know what this is, but not the greatest. Croissant. Not bad. It's worth noting that this flight cost me $2,440 to get from Montreal to Ibiza connecting via Munich. And for that price, I think it was totally worth it. 
If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and check out these other great videos.